Hi, I'm Kelsey with the Business Expo. I'm here with Jeanette. Jeanette, thank you for joining us today. It's my pleasure, of course. Who are you here with? I'm here with South Tahoe Refuse and Recycling. And anything <laughs> else? Okay, just that. <laughs> uh, what are you highlighting today? Okay, so what South Tahoe Refuse is trying to do is really Really, con really connect with the community about how to handle garbage. So it's kind of like Garbage 101. When a couple of the things that we are highlighting is things such as moving us into the future with sustainability issues, making sure that recycling is promoted. Um, it's spring, so our, one of our biggest focuses is our Green Waste program, which is all of your pine needles, pine cones, organic matter that um, we pick up, we use as a diversion, so we keep it out of the landfill. It can be um, promoted into mulch or fertilizers or things like that. And we work with some of the local agencies to that process that. And this isn't uh, coffee grounds or eggshells or anything like that. It's, it's more of a natural element. That's a really good question. Because what we want to try to do is keep the green ways organic. So nothing with food, um, no glass, no plastics, anything like that. Once that stuff gets mixed into the grease waste, it has to be separated out, and then it, some of it can't be used ultimately, so it will end up in the landfill. We're trying to really mitigate some of that garbage going into the landfill. Okay, and I know you guys already do the blue bags separate yeah. from the regular waste. Are you guys going to be doing like a green bin or a green bag option? I'll see, that is an excellent question because what we're really trying to promote is a reduction in the use of plastic materials. All plastic bags are made of polyethylene. They are safe to use, however, they don't go away. So if any of our customers can use garbage cans, 35 gallon garbage cans for their green waste, for any of their recycling, and then get them into an enclosure that is bear resistant or bear proof. That really helps mitigate the animal messes. It keeps Tahoe clean, and it really makes the, the recycling, the sustainability, it kind of all works together. So this is a garbage can without a liner to, to reduce plastic. But I don't want to take away from the blue bag system that we have because that is a, the way that we collect the recyclables. They go into our, um, our MRF, which is our material recycling system. We pull out the different plastics and things that are recyclable and more environmentally friendly, and then we dispose of the stuff that is not. Awesome. So what brings you back to the Business Expo every year? So one of the things that South Tahoe Refuse has really been committed to for since 1962 is community outreach. We're really um, invested in this community. We want to make sure that we can help in any way when it comes to managing garbage, because we all make garbage. And um, we try to really promote keeping everybody connected. The more we communicate, the more we support one another, the more we can really keep the image of South Tahoe the way we want it to be, which is this beautiful, amazing area that people come from all over the world to visit. So it's, it's kind of part of our commitment. And the Business Expo is an excellent way of showing what, we got, what we've got, who we are, and some of the things that are available for the locals as well as for visitors. So if people aren't here today, how can they get a hold of you? We have a booth right there. You can also go to SouthTahoeRefuse.com, which we are updating our website to reflect all of the things that we've kind of been talking about today, kind of bringing ourselves into the modern age of technology. We're hoping to get an app published and things like that. And um, you can always just call us, SouthTahoeRefuse.com, and give us a call. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here today. We've really enjoyed your company. It was absolutely my pleasure. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you.